Okay, today we're going to be learning how to set uh, two length offsets using a, a one inch block for a height. Uh, so one of the first things you want to make sure of when you're going to put a tool in the spindle is to make sure that we actually have the right tool. And right now I want tool one and this is at tool five. So let me take care of that over here. I'm going to close the door first. All right. And I need to be in the MDI mode. And for tool one, I t type in T1, and then I just push the ATC forward. That's the automatic tool changer. And you can hear that changing tools in the background, picking up tool number one and putting it in the spindle first. All right, There's, the tool's not in there yet, but it's in the right pocket. So here we go, I'm gonna put the tool in the spindle, line up the keys, press the tool release and let it go. So now we need to know what the length is from here to here on each tool. We only have two tools to do it to, but on this one, this is gonna be a tool one, height offset one. We'll figure out the distance by bringing the tip down and contacting the top of this one inch block and then subtracting that amount afterwards. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into handle jog mode. Right now you can see for tool length offset, it knows that tool one's in the spindle. I'm gonna press the right arrow over once, so we highlight the geometry number for tool one. And then I'm gonna, with handle jog, go in 10 thousandths. I'm gonna press the Z button, so I can use the handle jog to go in the Z, and get down close. Just gotta be really careful we don't go too fast and smash into this thing, okay? So I'm gonna go down, so the tip of this is just below here. All right, so right now it's hitting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I want to back it up because right now this tip is too low. It's, it's beneath the top of this. So I'm going to go back to the control for a second. I'm going to switch over to one thousandth increment. 0.01 means every time I move this up one click on the handle jog, it's moving the tool up one thousandth of an inch. So back down here, I'm just going to move up one click and try to keep moving this underneath the tool bit, that little block. Right. It's going to take a minute or so to get this done because I'm only going one thousandth of an inch at a time. Oop, it just slipped in. I'm going to go down one again and again until it stops. And I'll go up one. It just starts slipping underneath this. So that's right where we want to be. Okay, so right now we're one inch from here above. Right, We're not actually touching the pot yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say push the tool offset measure and it put the geometry offset of negative 9.753. That's how far down the tip of the tool is from the home position. But I've got to account for the fact that that block is an inch thick. So I'm going to go to the right once and under the wear offset for that tool number I'm going to type in negative 1.0 enter and then enter again to accept it. So what that does is it shifts it down the zero is now shifted down from here to the top of the pot. And the reason we use this block is so we don't damage the piece when we're setting up. That's the whole idea behind that. So once we're done there, we can call out the next tool and do the same thing. Now I'll show you how to call out the next tool. Basically, we just go back to MDI, push tool two, so T2, ATC forward. Gonna grab the next tool pocket. And when we look in here, this tool, tool one is moved over in the pocket, but tool two is what is expected to be in the spin. Hope this helps.